Welcome to Double Your WDW, the channel that gives you the best Disney World tips, tricks, and advice to plan your ultimate Disney adventure. So if you want to plan the absolute best Disney vacation for your family, you're in the right place. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be the first to know about what's new in the world of Disney. It also makes Mickey smile. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. All right, let's get into it. Happy holidays, guys. Julie here with WRWDW, and today I want to talk to you about Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. This is one of the most popular events held at the Magic Kingdom, and with good reason. Here at this extra ticketed event, you'll find fun characters, super low wait times, amazing snacks and treats, and all sorts of really cool entertainment. So today, I want to talk to you about my top five tips for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Number one. Use your time at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party wisely. There is so much to do at the Christmas party and only a limited number of hours to do it. So how do you use your time wisely? First, get there early. On days when the Christmas party is happening, the Magic Kingdom will close at 6 p.m. to regular park guests. While the Christmas party doesn't officially begin until 7 p.m., cast members will start letting party guests enter the park as early as 4 p.m. So plan on arriving to the park and getting your party wristband early on your party day in order to get the most out of your party ticket. This is the perfect time to grab some dinner, hit some rides, and start planning your night. If you have your heart set on a sit-down dining reservation, be sure to do that before the party actually starts. Any sit-down meal at Disney will take at least 90 minutes, and that's a lot of missed party time. If you decide to eat dinner during the party, opt for a quick service meal that you can mobile order. Restaurants like Pecos Bills and Cosmic Race Starlight Cafe will be open and accepting mobile orders. Lines for food can get long, so skip the line and mobile order. I also suggest you don't do the Jingle Cruise during the party. This fun Christmas version of the Jungle Cruise runs throughout the entire holiday season, not just the Christmas party. So don't waste party time for a ride you can do either before the party starts or on another park day entirely. Lastly, you can really get the most out of your time by watching later parades and shows. Many families with kids will take advantage of the first shows before it gets too late for their kiddos. While they're all at those shows and parades, you can hit rides with layovers that might have longer wait times or meet characters with long lines. You'll also have better viewing for the second parade due to the lower crowds. Number two, know your party priorities. The Christmas party is a limited ticket event. It's only held on certain nights in November and December, and it only runs for a few hours per party. But there are so many things to see and do. So before you make your way to the party, figure out what means the most to you, because it will be impossible to do it all. Do you want to meet every character? Do you want all of the amazing holiday snacks? Do you want to see every single show or go on every ride that has a special holiday layover? Or maybe you want to do just a little bit of everything. Decide before you go or you'll be overwhelmed at all of the things to see and do while you're at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. If you need more information on the things that you can do, check the link below. I'll have a list of all the activities happening at the party as well as party maps. Number three, don't book dessert parties or other extra add-ons. Dessert parties can be a fun addition to your regular park ticket. You can enjoy food and drink and get VIP seating for the evening show at any of the four parks with these packages. And while dessert parties and the newer Tony's Most Merriest Celebration might be a tempting add-on to your Christmas party, they really aren't necessary at this particular event. This is an additional party ticket on top of your Christmas party ticket. And while these add-ons provide things like food and drinks and VIP viewing for either the parade or the fireworks, depending on which one you pick, they simply aren't necessary. Instead, hit the cookie stroll for free cookies all around the park. You'll find locations and cookie types at the party park map. You'll also find that viewing for the parade and the fireworks isn't terribly hard to come by at the party, especially if you plan on hitting the later parade. Crowds will definitely be lower then. So unless you're a Christmas party pro who's been before and is just looking for a way to do something a little bit different this year, I'd skip these party tickets on top of a party ticket. 
Number four, don't skip the party entertainment. While wait times on rides are low and it's a perfect time to simply walk on some of your favorite rides at the park, don't miss out on the amazing entertainment at the Christmas party. The evening starts with Elsa and her frozen friends lighting up Cinderella's castle with a frozen wish. Now you don't have to be a party guest to enjoy this particular event as it's done daily during the holiday season, but it's still something you won't wanna miss. And don't worry, the entertainment doesn't end there. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade is festive and fun for the whole family. You'll see your favorite characters, amazing dancers and performers, and even the big man Santa himself. You'll also find dance parties and shows with some of your favorite Disney and Pixar characters throughout the park, and a special holiday fireworks display hosted by Minnie Mouse. This fun show uses fireworks and projection mapping all time to your favorite holiday classics. It's definitely something you won't want to miss. Head to the Hub or Main Street USA for your best viewing of this particular show. These extras are only offered during the holiday party, so take full advantage. And don't miss out when you're at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Number five, play in the snow. One of the most amazing parts of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is when it snows on Main Street USA. Okay, so maybe it isn't real snow, it's more like soap bubbles, but it is seriously one of the most magical moments you'll experience at Disney World. And I don't just mean at the holiday party, I mean at Disney World in general. So that's saying a lot. Snow will happen on Main Street USA during Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade and again after Minnie's wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks Show. It is the perfect way to end your evening at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Who else is totally in the Christmas spirit now? I am. If you're looking for more information on Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, check the link below. I have a ton of information about dates, prices, all of the events happening at the party, along with a ton of other resources to help you plan your vacation. If you like this video, subscribe, get notified when I post more videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the parks.